Hey guys, John here with EasyLink. Today we're gonna to go over some of the functions on the 20 to 22 Super Duty. First thing we're gonna need is our Auto Agent 3. We got our vehicle here, so let's get to work. To get started, we're gonna take the Auto Agent 3. I'm using an Android phone, so I'm gonna take the USB-C cable, I'm gonna plug it in to the port here on the Auto Agent 3, plug it into my phone, then I'm gonna locate the diagnostic port on the vehicle. Get that plugged in. I'm gonna launch the Auto Agent app. I'm gonna go into the vehicle, go down to functions. And this is where we have our list of vehicle functions. On the 2020 to 2022 Super Duty, we've got quite a few features. We've got gear ratio, auto relock, calibrate fuel tank volume, daytime running lamps, double honk without key, high beams and fogs, max vehicle speed, PCM relearn, reset TCM, secure idle, set tire pressure monitoring system, set tire size, stationary desoot, DPF regeneration, and TCM relearn. So today we're gonna to go through a few of these functions. Most of these are functions that you can have done at the dealership, but with the Auto Agent 3, you can do these at home. So. One of the popular ones, a lot of people will replace their fuel tank with a larger fuel tank. If we go to calibrate fuel tank volume, we're gonna run that function. And then if we buy an aftermarket tank, it's gonna give us a selection of what size fuel tank we have. So it goes anywhere from 25 gallons up to 68. So we're gonna select that fuel tank volume we can see up here at the top that it says that we have a 34, 34 gallon tank selected. So we're gonna submit for that 60 gallon. And that has recalibrated the fuel tank volume. What that's gonna do is that's gonna change our DTE, our destination to empty. So it's gonna re read the correct miles to empty on the gauge cluster. So another popular one is daytime running lamps. So we can go in here, we see the different options. We can choose to have high beams, low beams, turn signals, fog lamps, or park lamps. So I'm gonna select my fog lamps, submit, and that enabled the fog lamps. Another popular one has been the max vehicle speed. So you can adjust the vehicle speed to be set to a limit. So if you're using the truck for work and you don't want any of your employees to go over 70, 75 miles an hour, 55, whatever it is, we can go in here, we select max vehicle speed, we hit run. It's gonna tell us what the current vehicle speed limit is and then we can set that desired speed limit. So if we wanna set that down to 75, hit submit. We'll hit exit and run again. We're gonna see that that vehicle speed was set to 75 miles an hour. Now, for you speed demons that wanna set it up higher, even if we set it to 100, the vehicle defaults to 94. So if we go in there, we can see that the, and that's what it's set at from the factory. Another popular one is the tire pressure monitoring system. So we've gone over this on other vehicles, but the main reason you'd wanna do this from the factory, it comes set at 70 PSI and 60 PSI, that's for hauling heavy loads. But if we're not hauling heavy loads and we wanna have a softer ride, we can drop that down to 50 PSI hit submit. That's not gonna change the tire pressure itself. It's only gonna allow us to drop that pressure without setting off our tire pressure system. So we run that function. It's gonna show us that our current pressure is set to 50. We can do the same for the front, set that pressure. And you're gonna hear chimes going off because the system is recalibrating every time you go in and set this. So now I'm gonna go back in. And if you wanna see if it worked, you hit run, and then we can see that I'm set to 50 PSI. 
So we'll exit out of there. So another one is gonna be setting the tire size. If you opt for aftermarket wheels and tires and you get bigger ones, you want your speedometer to read correctly. We go in here, we hit run. Currently mine is set to 34.5. So if I wanted to go smaller, I could set that to 31. That's gonna change the tire size. I'll hit run again. See that that set that down to 31. Go set it back to 34.5. On this, you'll notice it does give you the option to run these at 37 or 40 inch tires, but it says here, it gives you a warning that DTC advanced track lights may be set. So you can set it to that, your speedometer will be right, but you're, you may have some advanced track and DTC lights that come up on the dash. Another extremely popular one is the stationary D soot regen. You, if you find yourself not being able to drive the vehicle because there's too much soot in the DPF, you can do a stationary regen. You wanna make sure that you follow all of the safety procedures, your vehicle's outside in a well-ventilated area, not parked by anything, and you can run this. You'll follow the steps on the auto agent here and you can read through, see all of these things. And it's important that you follow those to the T for safety. Sometimes changing the tire size is gonna set off a check engine light. What you're gonna to have to do to fix that, and it actually says it here in the tire size. If I go to run, it'll actually tell me here in the tire size, gives a warning and it walks you through the warning of what codes you're gonna get. You can check those with the auto agent in the diagnostic section. And then you can do these TCM or PCM reset. The TCM is gonna be the transmission control module. The PCM is the power control module. What those are doing is they're syncing the data that you've just inputted. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a PCM relearn now. Run, continue. and just follow the steps on the app. It'll walk you through. Tells me to switch off the ignition. Wait five seconds. PCM relearn complete. So I'm gonna turn back on the key. I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna do the TCM relearn. And again, just follow the steps that are outlined on the auto agent app. Continue. Wait three seconds. Switch the ignition off. Wait four seconds. Okay, TCM relearn complete. So just to recap guys, there's a ton of different functions that the auto agent does. Along with being able to do those vehicle functions, you can monitor the PIDs. That includes exhaust temperature, diesel particulate filter. You can also monitor anything from speed to injection pressure, all kinds of stuff. So the other thing is we're always adding new vehicle functions. So make sure you check that often. And just remember guys, the Auto Agent 3 works on multiple devices. So whatever you have in your fleet, your wife's car, your snowmobile, your side-by-side, -side, your jet ski, you can go ahead and plug that in. And there should be at least some vehicle functions. They differ from vehicle to vehicle. So go ahead and check it out. Thanks for joining us guys. As always, thanks for watching. Check out these videos and make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more EasyLink content. And we'll see you in the next one.